so I, I thought of sharing some of the things that I did when I was doing university. Um, so basically, one of the main things that I did was that from the beginning when I learned some theory, I always ask questions from teachers and then I clarify the theory. Like uh, In physical science stream, uh, in fact, uh, in this decade, uh, she turns out to be the uh, best female student. But earlier in two, uh, 2011, uh, sorry, 2010, uh, there was one student, uh, no, sorry, 2011, uh, Mayan, uh, she attained District 4th. Uh, now she's uh, doing a postdoc at MIT. Uh, so I wish uh, Sazuma will do the same way in near future. Uh, so I would like to invite Sandhupama uh, to share her experience with you guys so that you can get something from that. Okay. Please come forward. So hello everyone, I'm Sandhu Huma. So, uh, so I, I thought of sharing some of the things that I did when I was doing university. Um, so basically, one of the main things that I did was that from the beginning when I learned some theory, I always ask questions from teachers and then I clarify the theory like uh, so that I was like perfectly familiar with it. And uh, and then also, like, uh, I've seen in many people that they just, like, they sort of, like, learn in A-levels with the, like, I don't know, with the aim of maybe getting marks or, like, things like that. But then I I think that it is also really good if you can start from the beginning with, like, with a love for the subject, like, learning the subject with passion. So then you can enjoy the process of learning without thinking that it's a burden. And then, and then also, like, uh, I would recommend to do questions uh, like just after learning the theory parts without waiting until the exams come and all. Because um, uh, if you do not do the like the questions once you learn the theory itself, then uh, with time you tend to forget it, and then of course you will have to refer the notes again. But then if you do the questions um, just after learning the theory, then you wouldn't have to go back to read the notes, so it's better, and then it saves a lot of time. So if you can be perfectly familiar with the theory part just after like learning it doing questions then um, yeah i think i think that's good and then like uh, in like the uh, the first year when i was doing a levels that was the main thing that i focused on i didn't focus on doing um, past papers in the first year itself i mainly got familiar with the theory and i did uh, questions in the tute and then uh, yeah i started doing past papers when i when there was like six five, six months to A-levels, and then, yes, so I did past papers and and also model papers. So I, uh, so also I have to say that uh, when I, when doing certain subjects, like maybe not in maths, but like in physics, uh, when you're doing MCQs, there's uh, like, I, I, when I was doing papers, I have um, experienced that there's a, like a lot of shortcuts that you can do without going to the main theory, uh, without looking at the main equation that uh, that is relevant to the question, just by looking at how the certain parameters are proportional to certain other other parameters. Then um, uh, that would give shortcuts that you can do the MCQs really fast. So you can when you are learning theory you can like try finding such um, such small tricks so it would uh, help in saving time during exams and uh, i think that's it so good luck for you all thank you <laughs>